In this video, we're going to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. We're going to use what's called cofactor expansion. So this works on 4x4 four four matrices, 5x5, five five, etc. It doesn't matter how big the matrix is, this should work. So let's go ahead and do it. So solution. So we'll start by finding the determinant. So I'm going to write A with a bar. That means determinant. And let's just go ahead and do it. So you can just basically pick any row or column. Let's just pick the first row. So we have 1. So you write the number down. And then you always write down a negative 1. And then you have to add up the row and the column. So we're in the first row, first column, right? First row, first column. So first row plus first column. Always just like that. Then we draw the bar. That means determinant. And we're going to cross out the corresponding row and column. So we're crossing out. I can't cross that out because then it's gone. We're crossing out the 1, 2, and the 3, and the 1, 1, and the 3. So we're left with... 2, 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 1, 4, so 2, 1, 1, 4, okay, that's the first step, then you add, then you go to the next one, so now we're looking at the 2, so 2, and then again, you write the negative 1, and we're in the first row, second column, first row, second column, so it's 1 plus 2, row plus column, and then you write the line, and again, you cross out the corresponding row and column. So gone, 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 gone. So you get 1, 3, 1, 4. 1, 3, 1, 4. So 1, 3, 1, 4. And then plus. Then you go to the 3. And then you write the negative 1. And we're still in the first row, third column. First row, third column. So you do 1 plus 3. Then you write the bar. Then you cross out the corresponding row and column. So you cross out. I guess I can cross it out now because we're done. So you cross these out. And you get 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay. Negative 1 to an even power is 1. And negative 1 to an odd power is negative 1. That's a weird looking E. So here we get 1 plus 1, which is 2. So negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So this is 1. And then this is a 2 by 2 determinant. So you do 2 times 4 minus 1 times 1. Right, 2 times 4 minus 1 times 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. That's odd. So it's going to be a negative 1. So we're going to get a negative 2. And then it's 1 times 4 minus 1 times 3. And then here, 1 plus 3 is 4. That's even, so it's going to be positive. So plus 3. And then 1 times 1 minus 2 times 3. So this ends up being, well, the 1 goes away. It's just 1. So 8 minus 1 is 7 minus 2. And here we get 8 minus 3, which is 5. This is where I always mess up. Oh, not 5, not 5. I knew it. 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. Right, this is 4 minus 3. I even called it before I did it. Uh, and then plus 3. 1 minus 6, so that's 3 times negative 5. Wow, that was funny. This is 7 minus 2, um, right? 4 minus 3 is 1, okay? So 7 minus 2, 2, 2 times 1 is 2. Here we get a 15. Uh, so here you get 5 minus 15. Why does this feel so hard all of a sudden? Uh, so you get 5 minus 15. So 5 plus uh, negative 15, that's negative 10. All right, so uh, that's how you do it. So uh, be careful here, as you can see, uh, very easy to mess up. This is, this is where it gets dangerous. So I hope this video uh, made sense.